Bread and cheese. Name a better duo. I'll wait. Bordering the Caucasus region of Russia, as well as Armenia, Azerbaijan, and Turkey, there is a small country sitting on the Black Sea called Georgia. Georgia, or Sakartvelo, as it is known in Georgian, is a former Soviet nation that recently appeared on our radars as the origin of kachupuri, or Georgian cheese bread. So when I think about topics that I want to cover in my videos, I have a tendency to err towards foods that I've either eaten while traveling or foods that remind me of my heritage. A recent example would be my grandmother's farmer's cheese, or fondue. I don't just want to make something for the sake of making it, I want to experience explore where it came from and why it actually has cultural significance. Katja Perry struck this chord with me. When my Jewish grandmother escaped the Nazis in World War II, she and my great-grandmother ran away to Georgia. And this is a fact that I've known my whole life. So when I see something about Georgia, I feel this deep sense of what I think is pride. I see Georgia in such a positive light because it was once a safe place for my family. So I guess this is my way of paying homage. Anyway, kachupuri is one of the most popular dishes in Georgia, with countless region-specific varieties. The one I'm going to focus on today is called ajaruri kachupuri, and is arguably one of the most recognizable. It looks like a doughy football stuffed with cheese and topped with an egg and butter. I mean, come on. This variety specifically is called Ajaruri Kachupuri because it comes from a southwestern region of Georgia called Ajara. Apparently, Georgians love cheese. According to the Culture Cheese magazine, Georgians are proud of their cheese and seem to understand the potential it has to promote world development and local traditions. Let's see what my family has to say about it. My babushka eagerly hopped up out of her seat to explain her recipe to me, and turns out my parents ate Kachupuri every day when they had their honeymoon in Georgia. So in Ajaruri Kachupuri specifically, the cheese most common use is called suguni. I had an inkling that I might be able to find this at the Russian store. So I hit up Little Russia in San Francisco and I spent 50 bucks on cheese, pilmeni, kielbasa, and dessert while experiencing some serious nostalgia and I ended up walking out with sulguni. Sulguni is a brine cheese from the western Georgian region of Samagrelo and is described as sour, moderately salty, and kind of smelly. It's typically produced from cow's milk and or buffalo milk and was actually the most popular quote-unquote pickled cheese in the Soviet Union. My mom didn't like it. Let's see if I do. So this is the, this is gonna be good. It's pretty mild in flavor. It's a tiny bit salty. It really feels like mozzarella. So when researching traditional methods of making ajaruli kachapuri, I noticed a few things. First, I couldn't really find a consistent dough recipe. I saw yeasted doughs, I saw non-yeasted doughs, I saw doughs with eggs, doughs with butter, I saw doughs with just water. But when I got real deep into Russian cooking YouTube, I realized that pretty much every household has their own method of making kachupuri. So I'm gonna make mine with the same pizza dough recipe that I used in episode two. 220 grams of water, a teaspoon or three grams of yeast, and eight grams of sugar go into a bowl. Add 12 grams of olive oil, 10 grams of salt, and 350 grams of bread flour. Fit a stand mixer with a dough hook, or go by hand, doesn't really matter, and knead for about eight minutes. Lightly oil a large bowl and proof in the fridge overnight. Preheat your oven to 460 degrees along with a pizza stone for about an hour. Next, grate your cheese and as per usual, give in. Okay, fine, yes, you can have some. Okay, bye. So I'm going to make a traditional kachapuri that's got sulguni cheese in the middle and mixed with a little bit of egg and flour and it's going to be topped with just an egg and butter. But I'm also going to put my twist on it and I'm going to make a brunch kachapuri with smoked sulguni cheese, bacon, chimichurri, and egg. Crack an egg into your cheese and don't do what I did and convince yourself that you dropped a shell and everything's the same color so you can't find it, it's fine. Anyway, add a little flour and mix to combine. Take your dough that's been sitting at room temperature for about an hour, dump her on a floured surface and cut her in half gently. This recipe is good for two kachapuris. Shape your dough into a large thin rectangle in any way you want. I find it's easiest to stretch it by hand before going in with a rolling pin. When you're ready to assemble, place the dough on a floured pizza peel. Arrange your cheese in two narrow lines close to the edges of your rectangle, stretch and fold the dough over the cheese as such, and then twist the ends to create a boat shape. Fill the middle with more of your cheese mixture. Make sure the dough is free from stickage and pop it in the oven for 15 minutes. Here's a few things you can do while you wait. Watch the dough. Meditate. Dance and almost twist your ankle. Now after 15 minutes, pull the rack out of the oven and dig a small well in the boat. Crack an egg in the well and bake for about four to five minutes longer. When you're out of the oven, place a couple slabs of unsalted butter atop the kachapuri along with some flaky salt. 
While it's still hot, use some bread or a spoon to homogenize the middle, melt the butter, and finish cooking the egg. In this dish, this shape represents a boat on the Black Sea and the egg yolk represents the sun. So I'm frying some bacon right now, and for this one specifically, from what I learned from the last one, I have to make sure that the dough is rolled out a little bit thinner. Because it's gonna have all these toppings, I don't think it's gonna need as much cheese as the first one. I want there to be a little bit more space in that boat. I also decided to sort of par cook the bacon so that most of the fat is rendered out and it's not gonna intrude on the kachapuri, but it's still gonna finish crisping up in the oven. I call this one brunch chimichurri kachapuri. Chimichurri is so easy to make and is underratedly delicious. Garlic, parsley, red wine vinegar, chili flakes, salt, pepper, and olive oil go into a mortar and pestle or blender. Then go ham. I'm going to roll out the dough in the same way and attempt to create a larger well in the middle using the same technique with slightly less cheese. I'll cover the bottom with a mix of smoked sulguni and regular sulguni mixed with an egg like before, and then sprinkle some bacon on top before going in the oven. I'll follow the same protocol and bake for about 15 minutes before cracking an egg on top and going back in for about four. Once it comes out, I'll sprinkle a little more bacon on top and then drizzle some chimichurri. I tried to be all fancy and use a squeeze bottle. As you can see, it only uh, kind of worked. Don't use me as an example. Homogenize the middle and dip. These flavors go so well together. Happy quarantine.